Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your love forecast, weekly love forecast horoscope for August 10th and 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings. So we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about, um, the day to day, the love injuries, failings, the black days and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with my Aquarius's romantic love life for August 10th and 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups, the King of Cups, the Star Card Energy, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what the love interest feelings are. Another major arcana card for the blockage for another sign. Okay, so there's going to be some... Big shocking surprises coming up this week. Some kind of transformational change. Some of you guys won't be expecting it, so this is part of the blockage this week. So it's this shock and surprise that you're gonna get. And you're gonna see why in a moment. We see at the bottom of the deck, it's a good shock and surprise because it got the Nine of Cups energy. You fulfill my wishes, my desires. I've been hiding this from you. But now you're seeing some kind of science here. Someone that has been trapped in their thoughts and has been thinking about you constantly. There's this insane chemistry and passion coming in. King of Wands. I truly love you, Ace of Cups energy. I've been contemplating my emotions, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And we see a matching too, a queen and a king, which is the matching cards. And they're facing each other, which is really a good sign as well. Okay, so I want to get clarity on the shock and surprise just to give you guys a little bit more information here. Why is the major arcana, and it's interesting how many major arcanas are coming up this week for the blockage here. That means the universe, by the way. When the major arcana comes up, it means something beyond your control. Okay, why is the power card here for the blockage for Aquarius, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's this conversation, which, yes, I'm aware. Okay. Something sudden about it because of a power move. And it looks like while you're out or socializing or something to do with people, there's some sly slickness to this, which is going to cause some confusions around love. Hmm. So what is the Queen of Cups energy? She is the card of love and devotion. I feel that there's someone who is looking at you and they want to be devoted. They want your attention. They're watching you, possibly even spying on you for some of you guys. Because it's just like the perspective of the Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands speaks to me of my intuition is showing me that it's like someone looking in on you. Someone's looking in on you. It's like you're doing your thing and you're living your life and someone's just looking at you, like, I want their attention. If only they could get off that horse and come over here. Okay. So we see Four of Cups is showing me that there's a lot of opportunities coming in, but it seems like you're kind of like, I don't know if I want all these opportunities here. I'm not sure what I want here. Four of Cups energy. Or I could see this another way for some of you guys as well. There's a contemplation about love. And this person really wants your attention. And they're concerned about missing an opportunity with you, Aquarius. So I have my Aquarius says Romantic Love Live, August 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Queen of Cups is clarified by this trapped energy. Sadness. Something to do with a marriage or commitment. So it's possible this person feels really sad in their commitment, possibly because somebody is married here, or maybe they are married. Okay, let's go further. Let's get a little bit more information. What's going to happen with 
Aquarius is Romantic Love Life, August 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm being patient. I want some kind of healing, recovery, and love, and stability and stableness. I'm trapped and stuck in my energy of the sadness because of a marriage or a commitment. I'm committed to the sadness. Okay. See, I see there's a friend there. I told you guys. They're stressing about their sadness because they want your attention. And they, they're, they're, they could be very helpful to you, very healing to you, concerned about missing an opportunity, possibly maybe you guys have your eye on someone or you're going to marry someone. For some of you guys, or they're concerned that you're going to marry someone else. This person's coming in like really strong with love, King of Cups energy. Okay, on the 13th, they're like, I love you. And this is a surprise to you guys. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> okay, I think I did see the signs of this. Okay, spiritually. Okay, um, yeah, you're like, what? This is a surprise. They're offering love, King of Cups energy. They're coming in strong too. They're like, Aquarius, I've had my eye on you for a while. And, and you can see this King energy is like, Aquarius, I've had my eye on you for a while. <laughs> That's what I get from the king energy. I'm like, Aquarius, I've had my eye on you for a while. And you're like, what? I'm surprised. This is a big surprise to me, but then I did kind of feel this intuitively. I've seen some signs there. Star card is coming out, so you are getting some signs. Something hopeful about the situation, and it looks like you're gonna be spending some time. And because of this meeting, because of this private time, there's the tower. So we know where the tower is coming in the 14th. You are shocked about this truth. Queen of Swords energy and this big change. <laughs> okay, coming in. Okay, the butterfly card is saying, this is some big changes. Okay, I'm starting to see these big changes now. Okay. They're like, I'm single and available to pursue. So they may have left a marriage for some of you guys. Okay, because they're letting you know. I love you, this is a friend, they're stressing, they want, they, they have the sorrow that they've been trapped in, they don't want to miss this opportunity. They may be coming out of a marriage or they may be concerned that you're gonna get married to someone else or they wanna marry you, okay, with the, the wedding card energy coming out, they're like, I don't wanna miss this opportunity. And it's like, I'm shocked and surprised, I'm single and available to pursue, okay. You got quite a week coming up here. I see like this, this tower card. Like, oh my God, some big changes happening for you guys. Shocking changes for you guys this week, okay? And we know exactly where it's coming in, around the 14th, but all the, it's kind of moving there. You're gonna start seeing signs around here, which is the 13th. Yeah, King of Cups. You are the best decision for me when it comes to love. So surprised seeing that signs, spiritual signs, getting some kind of spiritual message. Again, star card showing spiritual messages. There's this private time, intimate time, very shocking and surprising. Okay, needing to think about this deeply, these big changes, because of this truth. Okay, so we got family, long-term, 10 of Pentacles energy, concerns about some kind of regrets, you know, about a relationship. We get the soulmate card. Yep, you're a friend, spiritual connection, relationship. That's very clear, right? So we even go this way. We see stressing about the shock and surprise. Worry about the shock and surprise, this breakthrough of a relationship. But a relationship is forming here. Friendship, stressing about healing, seems to spiritual signs, shocking surprise, and single and available to two for a relationship. Trapped, sorrow, a commitment to a surprise, spending time together, big changes happen because of regrets. And we also saw at the bottom of the deck, right? It was saying, Nine of Cups, you are fulfillment of your desires. Queen of Cups, contemplation about emotions, wanting a victory, not wanting to miss an opportunity, deep love, seeing spiritual signs, troops being spoken about, a long term commitment, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's go to the love interest feelings. There's a crossroads going on to a swords energy. 
about a sense of loss of being left out in the cold. This person wants to come forward, wants to travel towards you, wants to overcome barriers, Six of Swords energy. This person loves you and has a great time celebrating with you and wants to be a little bit more than just a friend for some of you guys. They feel like they want things to turn in their favor. They want to apologize to you or reconcile in this conversation. They want to have a, a talk with you. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. Let's see, let's see more information about this shock and surprise. There also is another sign, also had similar things happening. I think it was cancer. So cancer, moves, cancer sun, moon, rising sign, you may want to check out that reading too. So we see this person single and available. Okay, that's a single person. Shock and surprise about these regrets about the past. Mm -hmm. Or needing some time alone. Good news. Love. Passionate actions. Well, we see that on the 14th there could have been some passion stuff going on because there was private time together. Yep, yeah, and there we go. Ace of Wands. Potential opportunity here. So we see this week, good news and love. Potential for love. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Passionate actions taken towards an opportunity. Page of Wands. Hopeful energy. Luck is on your side. We see a reunion. So this is a person that you have dealt with before, okay? You're aware of that person. Nurturing supportive energy, an opportunity here because why? They miss you. They weren't being honest about the sense that you made them happy and you were the best decision for them. This person apologizes about this heartache and makes a power move. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a gift. We see a person card and a joyful energy. Okay, going further. Also a person, a person. We see that there's this letter, message, or document about travel, movement, or change towards joy. See, an apology about the heartache. A power move is made to take control towards this opportunity. A joyful energy, a playful energy, a sense of naivete about a reconciliation missing you, wanting to make the best decision. We see patient energy for things to play out. I want to make the effort here because I love you. Okay, Aquarius, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. This was a good reading. This was a good reading. Yes, very, very good reading. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. There is multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. Um, there's your monthlies, there's their true feelings, their true intentions. The monthlies, by the way, covers love, wealth, and health. So there's a multitude of readings to go check out. Also, I have uh, their true intentions. So you can also get more information about what's going on here. I love you guys so much. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just get some more advice for you guys considering all this. It's like they're going to apologize about this heartache. They're making this power move. They're going to give you this important message. It's going to change a lot and really bring a lot of joyful energy here. It's been this patient energy. Now they want to make an effort towards their love for you. It's like they're madly in love with you, this person. Any other advice for Aquarius when it comes to their love connection for this week? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. All right, so the advice is don't be stuck between two different worlds. There is an opportunity with a soulmate connection. There is something that's going to surprise you this week, and you're having a victory here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some big changes in the wind for you guys. You can go the distance and win this situation. Yes, there's so much potential happiness for you guys this week. This potentially could be the person you start a family with or work together to find a creative solution. Don't keep going around and around in circles. You know, you know there's an opportunity here. Some of you guys had strong signs about this. Yeah, we see meditation, thinking, contemplating about this new life. So really do some planning on this new life here with this person. Okay. I'm excited for you guys. All right. All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. And I will see you guys soon. Man, I'm just so happy for you guys. I can't help it. It's such a, um, I mean, this person's definitely, definitely in love with you. 